Hello, I'm Dan Huckabee and welcome to Beginning Rhythm Piano. I bet you I can teach you to play a million songs in 20 seconds even if you have zero musical experience. Here goes. Before we start the clock, the piano is organized with the black keys in pairs and threes. This is the only guide that a piano gives you since most keyboards don't have the keys labeled. But if you wanted, you could label the keys yourself if you felt like it would help. For now, put your hand at the starting position and play middle C with your right thumb. This is middle C. It's near the middle of the piano and it's the first white key to the left of a pair of black keys, not to the left of three black keys. Keep this note. Don't play the next note. Instead, skip a key and play the third white key, then skip the fourth and play the fifth white key. When you get in position here, we're ready to start the clock. First, Move your second and third notes up one note to the right, but don't move your thumb. Now move them back to the starting position. Next, do the same thing only opposite by moving your first and second notes down one to the left while keeping your ring finger where it originally was. Now move them back to the start. Congratulations. You just learned most of the songs in the whole world by making two simple moves. One move to the right and one move to the left. What we just learned was what they call the tonic, the subdominant, the tonic again, and the dominant chords. Tonic, subdominant, back to the tonic, dominant, and back to the tonic again. That's pretty easy to remember. Tonic in the middle, subdominant to the right, back to the middle, dominant to the left. So we're going to learn a bunch of songs, and all we're going to do is start in the middle and always be ready on my command to go to the left or to the right. Middle, right, middle, left, middle. Most of the songs in the whole world have only these three chords. No matter what style of music is your favorite, country, rock, blues, folk, gospel, reggae, children's, Christmas, or whatever you like, most of the songs are simple three chord songs. We just learned to make two moves. Now that's really easy. So let's make these two moves to create Happy Birthday to You. Happy Birthday to You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, da da da. Happy birthday to you. All you have to do is watch me to see if I move to the left or to the right. Now a children's song called I'm a Little Teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my handle, this is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over, pour me out. If you're a grown-up, you'll quickly see that this kid's song is harder than the grown-up songs because it changes chords more than in the grown-up songs. Now a country gospel favorite called Will the Circle Be Unbroken. Will the circle be unbroken By and by, Lord, by and by There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Now let's try this popular folk song called This Land is Your Land. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream water, this land was made for you and me. Now a Credence Rock Blues song called Midnight Special. Well, you wake up in the morning, hear the ding-dong ring. You go marching to the table, see the same darn thing. Let the Midnight Special shine the light on me. Let the Midnight Special shine the light on me. How about this Beach Boys song? If everybody had an ocean, 
across the USA. Then everybody be surfing like California. You'd see them wearing their baggies, Warachi sandals too, bushy, bushy bon hairdo, surfing USA. On top of old Smokey, all covered with snow, I lost my true lover by courting too slow. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain, she'll be coming round the mountain, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Gosh, we just learned 10 songs with only those two easy moves. Our home bass chord is called C. The chord when we move to the right is called F. Then back to C. Then the chord to the left is called G. So you can think of me as your Marine Sergeant giving you commands to go middle, right, middle, or left. Each song is a little different combination of these moves. So all you got to do is watch me and go left when I go left and go right when I go right. But what other songs use these chords? Oh, let's see. Don't Be Cruel, Blue Moon of Kentucky, Me and Bobby McGee, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, Cotton Fields, Beer Barrel Polka, Good Night Irene, Peter Cottontail, I Walk the Line, Long Back Veil, Bye Bye Love, Great Balls of Fire, Blue Suede Shoes, Long Tall Sally, Johnny Be Good, Susie Q, Battle Hymn of the Republic, Wooly Bully, Achy Breaky Heart, Wabash Cannonball, Ain't That a Shame, Mama Don't Allow, King of the Road, Folsom Prison Blues, Silent Night, When the Saints Go Marching In, Your Cheating Heart, The Barney Song, Old Time Religion, Grandfather's Clock, and the list goes on. Every song I named and millions more are played with those simple two moves. Just in case we don't put everyone's personal favorite song on this course, we're going to teach you enough example songs and the principles or music theory so that you can understand how to recognize what chords are in your favorite songs. You'll be able to hear the similarities and apply them to your personal favorites and literally figure out the chords to the songs of your personal choosing. In other words, we're teaching you in such a way to develop you into a natural musician who can simply sit down at the piano and play anything you want. Some people call this playing by ear, so we, before we go any further, we need to start using both hands. <laughs> 